Jewish humor, what is it? How many different forms does it take? And how has it influenced American popular culture? We came to Chicago to find out. Jews can laugh even when there's a tragedy, and that's what's kept us alive with some of each other. I don't think there's any culture on the face of the globe that doesn't have humor, and some people feel that humor is uh, the window into the soul of a people. Certainly people have argued that in the case of Jews. Hello. 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 You know who this nice. is? Yeah. Who are they? It's the Three Stooges. Now, are they Jewish? Oh, very Jewish. Why are Jews funny? Ah, it's a business. It's a racket. Uh, America is a place where the entertainment industry was growing rapidly at the end of the 19th century. Completely open, no restrictions. It was growing. There was no, no, no one who got there before the Jews saying, you can't get in. This is Renee Matthews. She's the foremost Molly Pecan authority in the country. Oh, well. Hi. Hello, Barry. Tell us about Molly Pecan. Who was she? Well, Molly was perhaps the most... Is this most... her here? Oops. We almost missed her. She was okay. the most popular Jewish actress comedian of her day there she is uh -huh. always playing a little boy her husband always infantilized her on stage and screen always as a little boy uh -huh. never let her grow up on screen why was that i don't know i think maybe he had a problem <laughs> <laughs> have you heard about the jewish telegram a jewish telegram start worrying details to follow <laughs> that's kind of a catskills joke what was the catskills what was the borscht belt a lot of Jewish performers uh, got, got their start in show business there. It was a place that, where the Tumbler uh, emerged, and the Tumbler was the, the social director in, in a typical Catskills resort who had to kind of keep people constantly laughing and constantly doing all kinds of antics. And he would, he would spring, uh, jump into his swimming pool, even though, he couldn't, even, even though, though he couldn't swim. <laughs> It's very important in terms of the evolution of Jewish humor, and a lot of those Tumblers made their way into television in the 1950s, and some of them had their own shows, in fact, on television. For example? Uh, Sid Caesar? Sid Caesar, of course, yeah. Michael and Du hast geklippte Skin! Who is your favorite Jewish comedian? Don Rickles. You know who mine is? Who? Whoopi Goldberg. He's lost his reason. Cause it's the season for making whoopee. Gertrude Byrne, her show was what? Well, my grandma used to watch it, listen to it. What was the name of the show? The, uh, the Goldbergs. Mm -hmm. Rosalie, did you take the place off the table? I took the place away. Thank you. You're welcome. She used to stick her head out the window and holler, button up your neck to her button children. Up your neck. Or she'd holler, uh, throw an eye in the soup. Ma, couldn't you have waited till Papa came home and saw Throw her? an eye in my soup. To see if the soup was cooking right. Did you know that Albert Einstein was a comedian, is a comedian? He is a comedian. <laughs> because that's Albert Brooks's real name. I like my cheeses in the ounces. When they weigh as much as a fiat, I, I get worried. In the late 1920s, it wasn't unusual to have Jews and Jewish language on film. In the 1930s, it was. As Hollywood got larger and as films got, went for a more general audience, mm -hmm. they also wanted Jews to de-Judaize. De-Judaize? Uh, be less Jewish. Uh -huh. uh, and, but a lot of Jewish performers still maintain their Jewishness on film by slipping in a Yiddish word here and there. Like saying Schnorrer. Did someone call me Schnorrer? The right for Captain Spaulding, the African explorer. Did someone call me Schnorrer? Hooray, hooray, hooray. Schnorr, a beggar. Hooray for Captain Spaulding, the African explorer. Did someone call me Schnorrer? Hello, mother. Hello, father. Here I am at Camp Granada. Camp is very entertaining. And they say we'll have some fun if it stops raining. Alan Sherman, you are a nut. A bissel fraid, a bissel lachen, a mole met sein, a schnetzel machen, a big gesint, can man glick lach sein. <laughs>